Hey you guys, thanks for tuning into my channel again. Today we're gonna to be talking about my favorite main choice products because we know that the main choice, their hair products are crazy expensive. So I'm gonna tell you which ones are my favorite that I recommend that you purchase and the ones I think are worth the coin. So first off, the Ancient Egyptian Shampoo. Oh my goodness, I will never not own this. <laughs> That's literally because when you try it, like when you wear it or um, wash it through your hair, you literally feel like your hair is getting stronger. I know that sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. But once you try it, you'll understand exactly what I mean. And it's called the Anti-Breakage and Repair Antidote Shampoo. And that's because it makes your hair stronger and promotes hair growth by reducing the amount of breakage that you're going to encounter through the week during your styling process. It retails, I believe, for like $16.99 or $15.99. And it's so worth the coins. Next on my shampoo list, is the Do It For The Culture Powerful Shampoo. So in my head, this is like a clarifying shampoo that does not strip your hair. It's meant to really clean your hair. It says Gen gently removes impurities from the hair and scalp, removing buildup to enhance vibrancy and volume. And it's powered by black charcoal and black cumin. Like when I put it into my hair, it's working to get rid of all the buildup and really cleanse my scalp like throughout the week. My scalp doesn't itch like that, like it doesn't get as dry. So I really think that that's because of this powerful shampoo. So I definitely think that this is something that's worth the coins. Moving on to deep conditioners. Ancient Egyptian. Can't you tell I love this line? The anti-breakage and repair antidote deep conditioner is a must have y'all. It's a must have, okay? So when you put this on your hair, first of all, it smells amazing. Let's just start there. It smells good. So not only are you paying $20, yes, I know it's $20, it costs, the cost is crazy, okay? <laughs> you almost have to get a second job just to pay for your hair products. But anyway, not only are you paying $20 for a deep conditioner, you're also kind of paying for like a perfume for your hair because it really smells that good but it definitely leaves your hair super defined once you rinse it out and it also promotes that that the strengthening feeling when you rinse it out and you get sad because you see that glob of conditioner going down your your drain you still feel good because when you look at your hair in the mirror it's super defined it feels super strong and this deep conditioner is definitely one that i recommend so the second deep conditioner that i recommend comes from the heavenly halo collection if your hair is dry if if your hair is thirsty, if sometimes it feels like hard and brittle, this will revolutionize <laughs> your life, okay? This is also $20 and they used to only sell it at Target, but I think now they recently put it in Sally, so I think you can get it from there and use a coupon every now and again and save some coins. Um, this also smells super, super good. Next up is stylers. So on my styling list, I have the Do It For The Culture Bold Buttery Gel. If you've seen my other video where I do a full review on the Do It For The Culture hairline and collection, I said that this gel doesn't work for wash and goes for a long period of time. It gives you volume and super definition for like two or three days, but after that, your definition kind of d dwindles down and that's because of the amount of volume that you get on first, second, and third day hair. But this, y'all, it just leaves your hair so moisturized. And I've never, never had a gel that leaves my hair moisturized. Like, I tried the Ancient Egyptian 24 karat twisting gel and it just left my hair dry. Like, the next day, it was dry. Like, any other gel, it just doesn't work for me. This is the only one that does not dry my 4B hair out. So if you have 4B hair and you've been struggling to find a gel that does not dry out your hair, this bold buttery gel is it, okay? And this is $16.99 and this is worth it, y'all. This restorative spray is amazing for maintaining your hair throughout the week. So once you've styled it, like say on Saturday or Sunday or whatever, and you want it to last the entire week, this is amazing to refresh your hair, especially like a wash and go or a twist out. It's from the Tropical Moringa line. It's the Sweet Oil and Honey Endless Moisture Restorative Spray. I use this probably every single day. Like, I will never not own this. This is my second bottle of this. And 
how much was this? I think this was either $15.99 or $16.99. I got it from Sally's with a coupon, so that's why I can't remember the price because I normally don't buy hair products unless I have a coupon, like 20% off minimum. Oh, this video is not sponsored. I feel like I'm kind of ranting and raving about them, but I just wanted to tell you guys which products are my favorite. So when you're going down the aisle at Sally's, you kind of have like a guide to know which ones are worth it or which ones you should be looking for if you have like 4A, 4B hair and similar. Now I'm gonna move on to oils. So the growth oil for your scalp has definitely been a staple hair product for me since when I started my transitioning journey. When I started transitioning in 2016, I started YouTubing and trying to find which products are going to ease my transition, help speed my growth along, and this definitely did it. Um, it does not leave your hair super greasy. Like, you know, sometimes you put oils on your scalp and then they get all on your hair shafts and then next thing you know your hair is all a greasy mess this does not do that y'all it really doesn't and I think I probably applied this to my scalp maybe like two or three times a week I know some people do it like every day but <laughs> I really like either forget or either I don't have time so I definitely think that having a really good scalp oil with a lot of vitamins and minerals that are gonna promote hair growth would be the best thing for you if you are starting out or you just need something for your scalp so therefore it doesn't get dry or flaky. The growth oil is definitely a recommended product. And this one is not even that expensive. It's like $11.99 or $12.99 at most stores. Okay, so my last and final product is another oil and it comes from the Heavenly Halo line. The serum oil mist is definitely something that I use when I'm styling my hair so if I'm doing my wash and go if I'm doing my twist outs I need an oil something that's going to give my hair a little boost give it a little shine also seal in the moisture of whatever styler or product or leave-in conditioner that I used and this is definitely it how much was this I think it was $14.99 trying to remember all the prices of these products but I think it was $14.99 when it was a uh, um, uh, well spent $14.99. I got this from Target and it comes from the Heavenly Halo Herbal Hair Tonic and Soy Milk Deep Hydration Line. So that right there should let you know that this oil is not just meant to make your hair look shiny, make it look like it's soft, but actually makes your hair soft. Okay guys, so that about wraps it up. Thanks so much for listening to me ramble and talk all about the main choice products like I'm on their payroll or something. But I definitely wanted to help you guys out because this is my favorite hair product brand and it was very instrumental in me moving from transitioning stage to a fully natural um, natural 4b girl so I definitely think that you guys should check these out and stay tuned for my other videos definitely subscribe or hit the like button tell me in the comments which main choice product is your favorite which one will you never live without because I know that the ones I just named like I just can't I just can't, I, I can't. <laughs> okay, bye guys.